Hey guys, here with a new video. I know it's been a while. Uh, I just got some brand new accessories and I thought I'd show them off. Uh, we've got the brand new mug holder and we also have some of the black walnut um, card holders as well. So both of these in the same wood just to match my table. Um, just wanted to quickly uh, showcase a few things. First off, um, from a quality standpoint, these look lovely. They seem to have a nice contour, nice shape that'll probably be similar to that of the poker chip holder, um, if I had to guess. Uh, kind of looking at how cards fit and how they kind of go in here. They, they definitely uh, give a, just a little bit of a curvature. It's almost not noticeable, um, you know, from my perspective, but um, from the side, it does create just a little bit more contour, but not too much. Um, in terms of them literally arriving just moments ago, I haven't even had a chance to um, really do much with them, but I did notice right away some things that I wanted to capture. Uh, for starters, this guy right here, um, is pretty standard in terms of that little bit of wobble. No big deal, really. Um, this one, on the other hand, right away I noticed that the magnets looked a little bit overly recessed. Um, and so a little bit of a concern when I saw it right off the bat. Um, but the, the one when it goes in doesn't have that spring. How that one bounces up. This one just wants to flop. And so I do think the magnets are in a little bit too much. And just from taking um, a screwdriver in here and kind of backing them out just a little bit, I'm hoping that that will solve the problem. And that little bit of a calibration sometimes might be necessary depending on uh, when you get them. So now you can kind of see how that backed it up just a little bit. But the problem you're going to run into is it does loosen uh, it on the screw a little as well. So I have to kind of see if maybe that's something I need to report, but um, you know, otherwise it, it is definitely something that can potentially help. You can see now it's got that spring. So the magnet seems a little bit loose in the one, but that did solve the problem. So um, I'll, I'll definitely kind of play around with it a little bit more. The other accessory that I got was the mug holder. I'm really excited. This holds my wife's um, 40 ounce water bottle right in here uh, from Iron Flask. Um, it actually fits better with this. It's a perfect fit versus this guy where it's a little bit too big of a hole, um, but it's nice because it has the hole to pop out the logo. Um, my wife already was joking about how she's going to be a little uh, uh, worried about this always being perfectly lined up to be straight up and down. Um, but you know, the other thing is she uses a stemless wine glass, which we have not been able to really put in anything, but this will be perfect. We already tested it out and it fits right in there, no problems. This thing is super thick compared to the other ones. I didn't realize how thick it was going to be. It definitely explains some of the extra cost. Um, but the other thing is when you put it in, again, this thing's heavy. And so it naturally wants to sag. Now how that compares to like the traditional cup holder, you can kind of see the, the angle difference. This one, when you put a drink in, it angles down like that, like that spring. But again, it normally wants to stay up. But this thing's so heavy, it just naturally wants to sag down. Um, so those are the new accessories. So far, so good. Uh, if there's anything new to report um, or anything that I'm concerned with, I'll definitely make a follow-up video. But I just wanted to provide a quick uh, you know, kind of show and tell on these guys for those that hadn't already seen them or um, had some hands-on experience with them. Very happy with the quality workmanship on the mug holder. It's very heavy duty. The only other thing worth noting, and it's me being super picky just to be picky, you can kind of see in here that there's some tooling um, visible inside with some shavings. Um, it's not like it's going to in, uh, inhibit the the use, but it would have been nice if maybe it was just a little bit more cleaned up in there just to give a nice soft edge all the way through and through, but I imagine that's also a real pain. Um, I'm not sure uh, if they could get a sanding bit or something in there to assist with that, but the CNC that I'm assuming they do this all on um, definitely left some, some rough uh, edges on the inside that are kind of visible through and through, and it's not just the one. They both definitely have the exact same kind of tooling 
um, visible in there, just not being cleaned up. But other than that, these guys are great. Um, nice little ledge even to put something on if you can be gentle and not damage the backside, at least until the hobby shelves come, which we uh, will be getting here um, hopefully soon. I am a part of the accessory only tier, and I did get those along with several other things that once I get in, I'll make sure to showcase. But uh, until then, I hope you guys have a good one, and thanks for watching.